Well, hello and welcome to the orange machine. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a bright orange house, yes. This house is located at Intermountain Homes in Kalispell, Montana. And you see that right there? Those aren't just for show. Yeah, that is actually a two-car garage attached to the home, comes with the home. I've never seen it on anybody else's channel. I've never seen one in person. A home that comes with the garage attached. Yeah. Wait till we get down there. That is part of the home. As I said, it's huge. <laughs> I don't know the overall square footage of the living space, but it's big also. So, uh, yeah. Y'all are going to love this one when we get inside. I couldn't believe it. I thought when I pulled up, that was just for show when he was when I was uh, kind of going through and walking around the lot. Because, uh, as I stated before, <laughs> hadn't been up here in a while. I usually don't come to this side of town, so I didn't see that he had had a bunch of new homes. I happened to be over here and uh, decided to stop in when I saw he had a two-story home, which may or may not be on the channel yet. And then I came around back here and saw the banners up there, and I was thinking, okay, well, that's where you put your garage. Then I came into the home today and was like, oh, wow. So we have sliding glass door down there. That's the door that goes into your garage. Yeah, so basically from that window all the way down here is garage. That's all living space and trust me, you might think that that looks like it's gonna make the house small. When we get inside, you will not be thinking that. <laughs> so let's uh, head on in. And I think I've been so busy talking about how I came across this home and where it's at in the garage. I don't even think I mentioned that it's three bedroom, two bath. So as we come in, you can see it is a nice open floor plan. Lots of natural colored wood. So we have nine and a half foot ceilings at the height of the home and eight and a half foot ceilings at the lower end of the home. So you don't have the flat ceilings, obviously. Nice big windows. Now these windows, I've noticed all of them, or at least the ones that open, and it's hard to show, but you've got this and this one. I can get it to show. <laughs> there we go. Now I can get it to show. So you can see we've got two different notches. So you can open the window this way. So it would tip out like this. Or you can open it so it goes like this. So opens up two different ways. So again, something I've never seen before. <laughs> This home's got me all combobulated. I'm like all excited and getting to show something I've never seen before. Well, then I'm trying to explain something. I can't even figure out how to explain it properly. <laughs> oh, well, right? Tis what it is when you come across something new. Of course, we have our dining room with the two recessed lights. There's your sliding glass door. No, I'm not really showing the dining room. I'm kind of showing everything else but the dining room. <laughs> Here we go. Now you can see it. Now this is a Bonavilla home. In case you didn't see by the uh, 
banners on the door there. Like I said, this window opens up the same way. Now that I'm back here, you can see them. <laughs> Try to show them up close, I can't show you. So see, you've got your one handle and your two handle. We have the stainless steel Whirlpool appliance package. Love the backsplash I used here. All adjustable drawers, soft close. And we have drawers above all our doors. Now you can see they went with two different style, two different styles of pulls. Your drawers have these different style of handles versus your cabinets that have just your round pulls. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to keep you all... No, I won't keep you waiting. <laughs> we'll come down this way. First off, we can't forget the pantry. Nice and large. The coffee bar. In, in our utility room, we have, of course, our washer and dryer hookups. And I know you heard me open the door, right? It's the water heater. Yep, not in a closet. There's your electrical panel. We have an actual coat closet right by the back door. We have a sink for our utility room. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. <laughs> no. All right. Bam! <laughs> right? Now, I didn't even turn the light on in here. I don't even know if they work. Didn't check. <laughs> we got one. We got one light, we got two, there we go. All right, so now we have our lights on in here. Look at that, two car garage, built in. Of course, now obviously this would have concrete instead of boards, but uh, yeah, you would have concrete over this. You'd have your pillar, but you wouldn't see the section where they come together because you'll have concrete going over the top of that. But yeah, I mean, y'all ever seen anything like this before? There's your attic access. Now, Bonavilla, I know, allows a lot of customization in their homes. Think about this for a second. If this can be a two-story home, how much more space can you add to the home by building your second floor and having all of this space to go up above also? Yeah, you, if you had a large family, this could be the home y'all are looking for. Just go with the second floor. Of course, then you get the flat ceilings. But yeah, tell me that isn't nice. I suppose I should probably shut the lights off. All right, where were we here? <laughs> Had to pause for about 10 minutes or so while some people come in and looked at the home. So let's come to this end and uh, check out the guest bedrooms and bathroom.
Hello, Raiden. Got, of course, the square, the square sink. Extra large shower tub combo. If I haven't pointed it out, you got this really nice flooring. So now this is the only thing that is small about this home, the guest bedrooms. Other than that, everything about this home is kind of extra large, even though you have the garage built in. And of course, like I said, everything in this home is the natural wood color. And I love these log beds that they used for decor. So I can't remember if the primary bedroom had the log bed or not. But I know this one does, obviously. Vonna Villa really has stepped up the game at this home. You know, and I just put up one not too long ago by Kit Homes. You know, they said, throws down the gauntlet. Oh, you know, and then uh, I come down here and see Vonna Villa has just uh, completely outdone that home as far as what you get and things like that. So, y'all just keep keep watching. <laughs> it's going to get better. So in our primary bedroom, it does not feel small. I mean, you've got room for this great big seating couch here. Of course, that's probably where you put your dresser and all that. But that is a king-size bed. We have a nice size walk-in closet. So in the time it's taken me to film this home, two other people have stopped in and looked at this home and both have said, depending on the price, this is the home they're getting. Hey, we already weighed Raiden, but why not, right? Since I'm straight ahead. <laughs> we got the dual sinks, nice set of drawers. And like I said, I really like these pulls that they put on the drawers. Your toilet is back behind the door. And then we have the tile shower. Now I just filmed one with this exact same shower. In fact, it was in uh, that home that's straight out there except it had the stainless steel color for the frame on the glass versus the matte black. So that tells you you have options, even in the color of the framing for your shower door. Of course we have the bench. And I know that you guys have options and I appreciate y'all watching and leaving comments and hitting that like button and all that good stuff. I know y'all are going to go down there and do it in this one. Especially, let me know what you think of the uh, fact that this one comes with a garage. <laughs> and I know y'all want to make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, turn on the notifications, 
and I will be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the beach. You know, it's something different. You know, this is built by Bonavilla Homes. They have a lot of stuff that they do differently than other guys do, like including the garage with the home. They've got a couple of other models that do the same thing. You can get them two-story. You can get them single-story. You can get them the 512 roof pitch all the way up to a 1212, which will give you that second floor, as will a 912. Bonneville is a really good quality home. So I really like when I get a chance to film them. Hopefully I'll get a chance to film some more when I go to Minnesota here in a couple of months. <laughs> I know I got a lot of stuff coming up. So including something completely different that I'm going to be filming next week. So I'll be out of town. These are what they call ADUs. They are technically a manufactured home built in a factory. But they are completely different than anything else I've ever filmed. Anything else I've ever seen on the channel. Looks really good. You know, I'm going to be down there on uh, Thursday doing some filming. I fly out on Wednesday. And then uh, maybe I'll get some other stuff while I'm down there. We'll see. So for the price information on the beach, the, about the best I can do for you is going to be an estimated starting price per square foot. This home, as I stated at the very beginning, is a custom home built complete 180 from the floor plan that I showed. So that in itself adds a little bit to the cost. So all of the homes at Intermountain Homes are also custom designed homes. They're not something that you're just going to find everywhere. That adds a little bit more to the price. Being that these are custom built homes, we're looking at, you know, roughly a starting price per square foot of about $200 per square foot. So in Montana, that's actually still a really good deal. I don't know why everybody seems to think they have to move to Montana all of a sudden, but they've driven the cost of housing through the roof in Montana. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you get down there, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.